low maintenance group where they're just they want the information and to go out and execute it so now they got just more guys helping them but i think that group with with luke with tip you know with marques like all those guys have done a great job taking the younger guys on and just we're all just all hands on deck trying to get better every day i mean something that coach bielma has mentioned was like you know when he just realized that all of my offensive assistants have coached tight ends at one point is that just sort of a unique thing for this group where i mean you had so many guys that could pitch in i think it is i think you coach so long everybody's coached a different position but you know i think it just worked out in our favor where we all know a little bit to, to help those guys better when needed and and we're and it, i think it's anything like if it's a receiver you know we all know a little bit about something that we're just trying to leverage our our knowledge about football just to make ourselves the best team that we can be how do you feel about just how would you value our games? Going good. You know, there's always things that you can do better. I think they're playing hard. I think they're trying to strain on the perimeter. You know, we've been able to make some plays and set up some plays. So, you know, we want to continue to do that at a higher level. But I think after, you know, three games, I think, you know, we're, we're in a good spot, not a great spot. But we know how good we can be if we continue to develop. You guys are improving all through the air. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of positives are you seeing? The steps you guys are taking some passing. I think it's good. I think everybody knows on any any given play that you, the ball could be coming your way, especially with the schemes that Coach Lunny has and and Tommy's ability to see the field. So I think it just gives them um, a more sense of urgency to win those routes and to make sure that they're they're doing the right things for when the ball comes their way. I know you guys were high on Pat coming in mm -hmm. here. He's kind of making some big plays. Obviously, he's a football player. Mm -hmm. How's he kind of progressed? He's doing good. You know, I mean, I think he's left a lot of stuff on the field, some plays that he'd went back from game one to now. Um, but I think the, the, the progression that we've seen from the spring to now and the way he practices and the way he prepares, you know, I think that's just a, you know, the, what we're seeing on the field is just a result of his attention to detail. And, you know, he's still young, so he's still continuing to learn every day and, and figure things out. But we're really excited about his future. Yep, I think he's good. I think, you know, I think he's comfortable. I think that's the biggest thing that you can see. Like he's just playing with more confidence and more comfortability about knowing where he's going to get hit from, how to set up the routes, the same things that we talked about last year. I think now it's just second nature. Um, so there's still things he's trying to work through and work on. But, you know, he's, he's definitely shown over the three games, if we can get him the ball in space, that he can do some special things. Is he a little power element to his game a little bit? It seems like he's breaking. Yeah, he's, he's stronger than what you would think. Like, and, and it's amazing. Like, you know, you get, get him the ball on the jets and stuff on the, in the goal line. Like, I think he has a knack of finding a crease and, and not a, afraid of contact. You know, that's the one thing I'm actually trying to get him to do is try to avoid some of the hits so, so it doesn't wear him down towards the end of the season. But, you know, he, he's, he's, I think maybe from his quarterback background, he's not afraid to take contact and, and to split defenders, which makes him dangerous on the perimeter because now he can square somebody up and make a miss or he can run through an arm tackle. Very reliable, you know, really good hands, strong hands, very smart. Once again, I think just being the quarterback, he's used to learning schemes and and the one thing that's like he doesn't get rattled too easy, like it's just football. So he's done a nice job continuing to progress and continuing to get better. Mm -hmm. Right, you just keep trying to, you know, Sean's a mentally tough kid and he has a great support system with his mom and dad. So, you know, just, just everybody has those down points. Sometimes they happen in the middle of your career to your end of your career. So, you know, we're just banking on this is at the beginning and, and after we get through this, this hurdle, we're just going to continue. To, to get better you know he's a talented player he'll be a talented player when he gets back I think for him it's just you know we want to keep him involved in the program and and keep him feeling a part of growing and developing just from a mental standpoint instead of a physical standpoint so we can get him back on the field really good you know because it's almost like a mini spring ball so you can kind of see where they were from from fall camp to now and those guys have made We've had all individual meetings. Those guys have made so much jump from the beginning of the season. So, you know, with the new rules of playing, you know, guys in four games, you can kind of project out like where you can get some guys some game reps and get them out there. And those guys are definitely on the track where we would like to at some point try to get them some live action just so they can feel it and then we can kind of see what they do in live action. How big of a carrot is that? It's good. Yeah. Because usually, like when I played, it was just like you didn't want to go in because that was your whole year. Now it's like, well, if I keep working and we get in the right situation, I can go get some live action and I think once they get the live action they see how important their practice habits are and that's the one thing that coach B is always talking about practice habits and game day reality well if you don't have any game day it's hard to to, to show them so I think the more we can get them those reps I think the, the more they're going to buy into their their development Thanks.